Hi, and welcome back to Sarah's Music. Today we're in Hollywood, and to be exact, at the Hollywood Bowl. This place is amazing, isn't it? And the best part about today is that I get to go down there onto the stage and perform with the Los Angeles Philharmonic with the wonderful Gustavo Dudamel. <laughs> The Hollywood Bowl in Los Angeles is a world-class outdoor concert hall and is the summer residence of the Los Angeles Philharmonic. The bowl opened in 1922 and has since hosted everyone from Louis Armstrong and Luciano Pavarotti to Jimi Hendrix and the Beatles. Concert goers enjoy a variety of musical styles, movies backed with live orchestra and a spectacular firework finale to end each season. There are three types of seating here at the bowl. Here are the box seats where you can bring a picnic with your friends and also be served at your place. Or you can sit in the super seats at the back with a cup holder here in the middle. And right at the back, there are the bench seats where I've heard you can get a ticket for a dollar. Gustavo, this is the first time I play with you with the Los Angeles Philharmonic. And what a surprise. <laughs> eh? I was like a deja vu. It was like... Huh? <laughs> what country like, are we in? And what is exactly what is happening here? Do I speak in German or, <laughs> or what? <laughs> it's fantastic to be here and to play in your oh. orchestra. And this Hollywood Bowl, it is such an amazing institution, over 100 years old. Yeah. But it, it seems to be also very important, not only what you hear, but what you eat. <laughs> the food is amazing. <laughs> and you can drink and you cannot imagine, you know, the other day we did Otello. And then we went to Star Otello and then, and then it gets soft. <laughs> and then I hear like people, you know, sharing like, click, <laughs> like we are so happy. Click, and, and then you smell, you know, some food and you are like, oh my God, I have to be standing here for three hours and I'm so, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> well, it, this is this kind of things, but it's so beautiful because you connect also with this beautiful sky, this beautiful, uh, just atmosphere that LA, LA brings, you know. It's... I love what you do with the programs as well, because you said you did Otello yeah. recently, but then you're doing Tchaikovsky with all the, all the fireworks. fireworks yes. <laughs> How do you choose the pieces? Because you want to keep them popular enough so that 18,000 people will come. Completely. But you also want to get a bit of your favorite <laughs> classical music in there. <laughs> well, look, yeah, it's always we try to combine. I try to combine some things, you know. I, I love to do opera with the orchestra. And, and, and it, it has been one of the things that I, we have been developed because the orchestra didn't play a lot of operas regularly. So I bring the operas to the ball. We have done uh, Rigoletto, Turandot, Carmen, uh, uh, we did Pagliacci, Cavaliere Perf Rusticane. Perfect operas for here. Wonderful. Yeah. Otello, we did a few weeks ago. And then we combine, for example, this year, the birthday celebration. So we did some musical things. And now we are doing a Latin program that is really nice and you know i have a secret to tell you oh good we like secrets Why, on this program <laughs> i ask uh, to to the producers to the people that i wanted to play the fireworks how do you mean play the fireworks you know that is in the score the cannons yes the cannons that's the, right the, are, oh you're the, going to do the cannons and i oh. play the cannons that is the best that, <laughs> i need that to is, come back and see that that is my only uh, my only request you know so with I, your left hand you'll play the cannons and the right hand you'll be the beat <laughs> Pam, 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 pam,
I love it. Today we're going to have Latin fireworks. Yes. And I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah. thank you. No, thank, thank you for you letting me play much. with your orchestra. No, please, and it's give more of that surprise to me because I was like, oh my God, here is Sarah. Next time when you come back to Berlin, you'll see me and think, what's she doing here? Exactly. <laughs> She's have to be in LA or in Chile. Thank you. <laughs> The very last seats are a long way away here at the Hollywood Bowl, but hey, this is LA. You don't have to walk anywhere. I think these are the best seats in the house. What, do you come to the bowl often? We have a season, season holder. Season holder. And is yes. this always your box? Yes. And what happens when the concert starts? Because you've got your back to the... To the, to the, the they take the tables down, they turn around. They take the tables down? Yes. Until and we turn around. Uh, I, and, and she has to give me a massage. Oh, that's nice. Mmm. <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> have a good concert. <laughs> Can I say I'm Sarah? Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. So, guys, at the Hollywood Bowl, it's of course about the music, but I get the feeling it's also a lot about the food. Is that right? Yeah. And the wine. The wine. <laughs> Chris and Andrew, this is a pretty pathetic picnic. <laughs> I don't it's think that's great. in season. You, you don't want to eat that. It's like that. Is it difficult to play on stage? Because I must admit, in the rehearsal, I found it quite hard to hear what was going on. Maybe I was because I was sitting in front of the percussion. But yeah. it's 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 not easy. It's tricky to hear sometimes, and also it's distracting because with all the food smells and the wine bottles rolling down. And Does that really happen? Uh, Absolutely, more times than you can imagine. They actually. go clink, 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 clink. crash. As a brass player, sometimes playing outside, it's quite a challenge. What do you find are the challenges playing here at the Hollywood Bowl? I think the fact that one of the strengths of the Hollywood Bowl is the variety of repertoire we cover. And that's also what makes it challenging as a performer, because you have to be so flexible. One night you show up and you're playing Brahms, and the next you might be playing Bugs Bunny. So the, the preparation, I find, is really challenging here um, to keep up with the flow and just you have to be uh, really fluid and remain flexible. What about this feeling of performing for almost 18,000 people? Because it, you usually play at Disney Hall, and that's very contained. And in Disney, at Disney, you can see really practically every face. It's a little bit more impersonal when you're on stage. Yeah, except for the fact that uh, we're on the big screen. We have four or five sometimes huge high definition screens and cameras on stage. So it's easy to actually forget that the audience can actually see you, even though you feel a long way away. So you've got to be on best behavior at all times, which of course you two boys are. Oh, of course, absolutely. <laughs> That's all from Sarah's Music for today, but the boys look already perfect for the concert in their white dinner jackets, and I have to go and get changed as well. So we're going backstage, warming up, getting changed, and we'll say for today, goodbye from Sarah's Music. See you. Bye.
today's Hollywood Bowl Horn Challenge, Gustavo Dudamel, who is actually a veteran of the Horn Challenge because you did, in my very second Sarah's Music, you realized that the horn is quite difficult. We were in tour. We were on tour, and here we go. I'm going to see if you got any better. <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> One second. <laughs> One more time. Oh. Ole. Ole. <laughs> you are great. <laughs> I just adore you. <laughs>